That's the marker. Okay, I gotta be honest, I have no idea how this one's gonna go, because honestly, Kingdra is the tier 0 deck for the week, I think, and uh, there's not exactly a ton that actually stands up to it. We kind of banned the main thing that would, which is Leafeon, or the main two things that would, which is Leafeon and Torterra. So, I don't really know exactly how this is gonna go, and... There's not a lot that I can really say for it. I do have a decent enough Kingdra there, but honestly, Pepper's already got that covered, so I'm fine on that front. I'm trying to sort of anti things a little bit here with this one. Uh, I don't think it's going to work too, too well against the fighting stuff from Psy, but I haven't had that to test against, and I've mostly been just looking at Kingdra. So we'll see. This is two cards from the new set. It is Kyogre and Lantern. So Kyogre for no energy lets you choose up to two basic water energy from your hand and attach them to one of your Pokemon. And then its actual attack is two water and a colorless to do 60, discard two water and spread 20 to all of the opponent's bench. So if you can, and we do have like 14 water energy to try and facilitate this, if you can get a couple of energy in your hand and attach this as your opening gambit, then it is very possible that you simply go turn to high tide and usually KO most stuff, to be totally honest with you, uh, that is starting. But it also spreads a ton of damage, so we can then use things like Deep Looter on the technical machine later on, and we can have ourselves a grand old time removing all of their evolution stages. The other thing that we can do is Lantern, which has two different attacks here, Energy Split, does 30 for uh, to each of the opponent's Pokemon that has any energy cards on them. So this is, apart from just being lightning, this is really good against Kingdra that tends to put just one energy on like three or four different Pokemon. But also Aqua Bolt is the other thing here. We can just accelerate to Lantern instead of Kyogre and it does 60 plus 10 for each water energy attached to the thing. Uh, lightning double colorless is a bit of an awkward cost but multi-energy would make it do 90 for free and yeah, we've got a plenty of water energy we can just come through. Otherwise, the only other thing we have for quote-unquote attacking is Rotom. This searches the discard pile for two basic energy and attaches them, so it's the discard version of Kyogre. You can get the lightning energy that we play back in here as well, so there is that going for it. Um, otherwise, it is pretty much just like a access and maintain energy as much as possible. We have uh, four energy pickups, so if we flip heads we can get an energy from the discard onto one of our Pokemon. This lets us chain high tides turn after turn if we can flip heads on that. Energy restore puts uh, a basic energy from your discard pile into hand per head you flip out of three coins. And we don't actually have energy retrieval in format right now, so this is the best bet we have for that. We have the uh, Night Maintenance, just for recovering a bunch of stuff. Uh, free Warp Point on one switch, I think it's fine on those counts. I'd probably rather have a fifth card, but it is what it is. And then our support line for Baby Search, uh, three Cynthia's Feelings for Roseanne's Research, those are the main bits here. And two Bucks Training, because 70 is a number we don't hit very well with Kyogre otherwise. And a lot of the starting Pokemon have 70 HP, the ones that don't evolve. Think of stuff like Uxie over here. So. That's pretty much it. Uh, then we have one lightning. One basic lightning can be searched and you can recover it with energy restore and pick up. Two multi-energy because we only need one lightning for Lancer to attack. We mostly need water in here and we can only attach water via Kyogre so we need a ton of those in. It's mostly a Kyogre deck but uh, the Lantern is really good as well for closing games out. I do have an AMU list down here as well. This is, again, mostly relying on getting all of the level X's in play here so that we can use Supreme Blast and wipe out any one Pokemon that we choose to. With Energy Pickup or, or Energy Switch, we can chain this attack as well, which is very, very scary. So it takes a while to get going because level leveling up has to be done in the active spot, and we don't have level max yet to flip to level up. So it's a little bit awkward, but we have a decent amount of setup stuff here. We only have the free Uxie, we don't play Claydol in here, 
mostly because of space. I think Claydol could work, but if you have Claydol, then Palkia level X becomes a lot weaker, because then the opponent just switches in your Claydol instead, and it's really annoying. So we don't really worry too much about that. We're just using the Uxie for setup. It can put itself back into the deck as well, even though it makes it a little bit harder to search out, it is still possible. There is the one Mighty End attack in here as an anti Mewtwo level X, just in case that does come in. If the opponent isn't an evolved Pokemon, they can't attack, retreat, or use powers next turn. So this locks the Mewtwo in play, and if they have to warp point out, well, Mighty Anna can stand up to that. And otherwise, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, the level max is, uh, I think. No, this is Poke Drawers that are being replaced by Handies. The level max is not exactly being replaced by anything too big. It's like Dust Ball is the main bit. Uh, because Yuxi puts itself at the bottom of the deck quite a bit, Dust Ball is quite nice to just pick it up again. So also the Yuxi level X's trade-off can work this way too, where later on you can Dust Ball the card that you put at the bottom of the deck. So that's quite good. And you don't need a ton of energy in here. The two multis are enough so that Mighty Anna can get to attack if it needs to. And you really don't need a ton because most of the attacks are one or two energy. So uh, 10 is enough, to be honest. So yeah, that is, that is the decks. Hopefully we can do something, but I'm not really expecting a ton out of this one, I'll be totally honest. Oh, I did the wrong thing. Oh, that's not it. I've done the wrong thing on Discord. Ah, uh, it's fine, whatever. If I do it this way, it'll be it's fine, go back in. Alrighty. Back, draw five. Hello. Hello. I'm honestly not sure how I feel about this one. I feel like the bands have actually ended up making this format a lot worse, but we will, uh, we will see. Interesting. Do you want to move over? Yeah. Yeah, well, we'll work it out as we go, but uh, yeah, I'm feeling like a couple of the hits have limited uh, a couple of particular options that would have made this format not just feel like a tier 0 super fat format, and uh, yeah, not exactly super happy about that, but uh, we'll see. Hmm. You're just talking about Leafeon, I assume? Leafeon is one of them. Uh, Alright, what would you like? Heads. Solterra is actually the other one. Uh, yeah, you got it. I have no idea how this deck is going to go, I'll be honest with you. Um, but I'm curious to at least see how it plays out, so... Yeah. Yeah, it's on the other side now, so... Yeah. <laughs> That's confusing me a lot today as well, don't worry about it. And I'll just call... Sure. Uh... Uh, yeah, Glyscore is like the one thing I didn't end up building because everybody else had already built it, so I was like, yeah, whatever, you know. <laughs> like, literally everybody else had already built it, so... Uh, Alright, let's see what we can do. Um, well, we can start with Roseanne, so that's pretty good. My brother used to play uh, Glyscore level X against me. Alright, oh, okay. Yeah. Back when we had, you know, trash decks, like I was playing uh, basically clocks, but also with Doug Trio and probably some other stuff that didn't make sense and no double rainbow energy and all of that. So. It's funny, yeah. Uh, yeah, we can't even do that bit, so. Uh, right, let's go ahead and grab an energy and you see. So we might as well just attach that now. I'm automatically going on that side as well. This is going to mess me up so much. Uh, we will do that. I think I'll keep this in hand at the moment uh, because I don't think I can pair this hand down well enough this turn. Uh, 
double check on the shuffle, and we will just use Drizzle so I can put two waters onto the Kyo there. Yeah, two energy, two basic waters from hand to one of your Pokémon, so it can put it onto itself. Yeah. TTS's update has been is like weird for me on the stuff there. I see all the bits like obviously because you've just stacked the thing on there. It has its new animation bit on there as well, and it's weirding me out. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, it is really interesting. Well, admit didn't expect this game to get another update like that, but uh, you know it hasn't really had anything since the whole time we've been playing here. But you know, yeah. It's cool though. Mm -hmm. Um, hmm. I haven't played this since two weeks ago. So. Fair enough. Fair I enough. I don't remember what I'm supposed to be doing here. I gotta be honest, I have no idea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like I said, I'm the only one who didn't build Glyscore in the end, just because everybody else already had done something with it. So. Mm -hmm. It was like the third deck I was going to play, like Kingdra was the main one, then AMU was the other one I wanted to test. Uh, turns out Kingdra is not exactly particularly fun right now to uh, to either play or go against. Well, play is fine, but like to go against it's not very fun. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, I guess I shouldn't be too surprised, but... Uh... Yeah. Um... Oppressive doesn't mm -hmm. even begin to describe it. Alright. Ooh, yeah, okay. I suppose if you want proper draw, it's either this or Oak's Visit right now, isn't it? Yeah. This card's cool, though. It's not. It does stuff sometimes. Um, no. I know M. What the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's the it's... M, okay, it's the nose pass, right, gotcha. Yeah. yeah, when I saw that, I was like, oh, I know what that does. Yep, so that's a draw four. Yeah, I have seen that before, and I was like, uh, I could see you playing that at some point. I was like, yeah, mm -hmm. makes sense. I thought you said N for some reason, I was like, okay, what the fuck are you doing here? But no, this one makes a lot more sense. <laughs> yeah, so I'll use Nod. I don't yeah. Know what that was, but... <laughs> Dust Ball, okay. I scored a hand. Pretty fortunate, yep. Okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. Wow, you are on one with this in the moment, yeah. It's pretty fortunate that uh, that you're not going against like AMU or something, because that's that's very donkable. <laughs> oh, the cube. Yeah. yeah, the risk you've got to take, but oh my god, yeah, you really are on one right now. Jeez. I have advocated yeah. for Pokeball before, though. I will admit. <laughs> god, fact, you should be lucky. I'm not playing Carbotops because I actually did build a Carbotops deck this week. <laughs> yeah, this is a very heavy item deck. For sure. Yeah. Off that. Oh, and I keep it, right? Yeah, it's to hand. And then yep. the other one's bottom deck. Yeah, no, I, I built. Uh, yep. What was that? I built. You'll find this funny, actually. It was like Carbotops Yan Mega. Like a couple of Yan Mega in there because of the zero energy spread 10. Right? Because Carbotops <laughs> does 10 spread for everything that's already got damage counters on it. So I was like, if I if I just hit them with Yan Mega a couple of times, I can get everything chopped up with Carbotops. And. Uh, yeah, it's a lot more interesting that way, but... It's kind of cool. Third one, yep. Yeah, welcome to the modern format, folks. <laughs> this is this is just, uh, this is just boneless movie, Max. <laughs> um... Hmm. 
It's not paper, I know. No, it is not. Although I guess it doesn't matter because it's like unknown can just attach itself and so the extra damage is whatever, you just gotta make sure you actually do it. Okay. Um sixty eight. Interesting. And so you play Roseanne. Just Roseanne, your, yeah. That was your first turn. Yep. Roseanne for water, Yuxi. Yuxi's still in hand. Right, yeah. Oh. Um. Do you still have power as well? Yeah, because you Felicity yes. first, yeah. yeah. We'll go ahead and do that now. Oh. Good lord. Yeah. Also. Football. Fly score. This one doesn't get shuffled. Yep. Oh, right. This is gonna pop. Yep. Huh. Um. This is quite wacky. Who's on the next one? Boy, I'm really scared of what I can do. Uh, yeah, I can. I, I can imagine why. <laughs> I wouldn't say this is entirely untested, but this is like one one of the things that I figured might actually give me half a chance against the two main decks this week. So it was either going to be this because uh, Sai was going to play it with like Lucario or something as well, actually. But it was like playing this or uh, Kingdra. So I was like, I've been trying to figure out something today that can actually like stand up to it, and I don't know. I just realized I can use Hall Energy, so that's awesome. True, true. Um, okay, what else do we need to do? Q's already down, that's fine, I guess. Don't that shit. Alright, yeah, we'll just, we'll just call. Yeah, give me more targets to hit, that's good for me. <sighs> yeah, <laughs> not too mad about that. I think that's what we want, yeah. Yeah, Cresselia as well, okay. Curious. All right. Uh, so, uh, not too happy at seeing that, but whatever. Um, see, the weird thing is, I don't think this is gonna end up being that good of a tech again. So I might as well just put it down. I'll put the TM Devoluter thingy down. Uh, it doesn't work against level X's, so it's a bit iffy, but. Uh, you know, it's it's spread damage dot deck, right? So it's no ATM rock, but it also doesn't fall off. So there is, is that. Um, we'll bench the Uxi, draw four, with setup. Um, uh, that's curious. Um, So, do I think I'm going to be able to attack next turn, is the thing. Um, probably. I will put another energy on. Uh, we will Roseanne. Thing is, I don't even know if you're going to get to see the other half of this one, considering, but, uh... That's okay. Um... We will grab... Might as well grab another water. Ah, uh, do I just... Yeah, I think I just grabbed the other Kyogre. Might as well here. Um, don't think I need to do that one. This can't get attached this turn. And we will... Yeah, we'll just use uh, High Tide and uh, yeah, discard the two water. 
knock out the unknown, and 20 to everything else. Yeah. Well... Let's yep. shoot poison. Uh huh. Pokeball. Mm -hmm. That's the expected outcome at the moment. Yeah. Play two, hit one. Pokeball. Not too bad. Oh, this deck is playing like, you know, 60 item cards, so, you know. <laughs> There's nice another score. score, yep. Well, that answers that question. Yep. Unless I'm cheating, you never know. Oh, I think I will uh, know eventually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You've only got 20 cards, le uh, 21 left in deck at the moment, so... Uh... Yeah, there's that. Um... Interesting choice, I like. I'll deck. throw the cube. <laughs> and... I'm gonna have to just do burning poison. Right. And, uh... Because I'm assuming you don't want to poison again. <laughs> that would be right, very silly. Yeah, sure. You are going to bounce it. Okay. Yeah. Old of you to assume that's surviving. Alright, well, that's fairly, but that's fine. Uh, right, let's see if we can punish that. Uh... Oh, that's not exactly what I'd want for it. Uh, oh well. Uh, energy pickup. Got it. Okay. Seems pretty good. Put that to there. Uh, play switch. Mm. Get rid of those. Yep. Uh, play. Manual attach. Um, let's do some benching here because I think I do need to put some stuff up. So I have another Kyogre. Ah, just thinking if I actually want to bench this one. Seems really bad given the match, but you know, uh, if nothing else, it's Death Fodder. <laughs> we'll put Chin Chow down. <laughs> um, we will. Yeah, I think I would like to. We will box training here just so I can keep the rest of this. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Um, pay the retreat and high tide. Yeah, no. mm. yeah box is there so I could actually do the 70 because you see and shit is kind of prevalent, so. Go press. Mm -hmm. Also, yeah, that <laughs> potentially. Yeah. Uh, 
there. Ah. So, well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry about that, but it was That's really. Cool. If, you, if I had the, had the way around it was before, the discard button would be on the wrong side as well. It looked weird. It... Oh, sorry, wrong way. Uh, nah, I got it. It's, it's worth, you know. Uh, well, I guess I don't remember what's even in the deck at this point. I guess the main problem I have is how am I actually killing these enough here? But you know, we'll we'll find that out as we go. Yeah. Uh, Venture Q. Oh, the third one, wow. Okay, so this deck is this deck is 40 items and 20 basic Pokemon, got it. <laughs> BB. Yep. Support of the Fenerge, we're just gonna play like it's Gen 1. Mm -hmm. uh. And then do a uh, cosmic power. Mm -hmm. Thanks for a shuffle. Yeah, I figured you Four. would probably need that. <laughs> yes. And then I will just have to uh, burning poison again. I actually don't want to burn you. I'll just reiterate okay. the poison here. Sure. Yeah. Uh, all right, okay. then to four it is. Okay. And I think... Yeah, I think so. it actually is surviving this time, so you're probably fine. <laughs> Um, although, I mean, this is still kind of decent, but, alright, I'll get Lantern down, uh, I don't think it's going to do much, to be honest, but maybe it will, uh, that might be the way that I actually need to, like, kill these things, so, uh, we'll, we'll see. Um, it's a bit of a, bit of a stinker, if I'm being honest, in terms of the hand, but, uh, this is what happens when you don't get a chance to get Claydol out, I suppose. Uh, yeah. Just haven't had the luck to draw it. Um, do I even... Yeah, I guess I do. We'll wall point here. Uh, we haven't seen an attach, but I guess you cannot attack with Kyogre. Oh, that's that pick up. I guess you could pick up, yeah. Yep. Hmm. It's kind of spooky. Is that like that one? Spooky pickup. <laughs> Look at this. Patrito is too scary. It's even not even Gar chomps fear it. <laughs> <laughs> Was it Gar chomps use the thing or I forget that I forget that world championship thing. Oh, Which way do I want to do this? Because uh, there is an interesting play to make. Um. Yeah. There is an interesting one we can make here. Alright, alright. Uh, we're going to put a Devoluter on Yuxi. Okay. Um. Let's attach one to the Ogre. And then we kind of got to do something, unfortunately. Where are we at? Four discard. Uh, yeah. Let's Cynthia's feelings. Like I don't particularly want to, but uh, I kind of have to get something here. Mm, okay. I wouldn't necessarily say that counts, but uh, that's fine. Um, we'll bench a Rotom, 
uh, eventually. Hmm. Can help recover stuff, so wow. you know. That's, yeah, that seems really good. And we will devolve your Gliscor with uh, with the TM on Yuxi. There's a board of my Groudon deck. That's actually a good idea. Drop turn. Yeah, see, it's not amazing because obviously you're getting back, but it does give you give me a turn off from your level X, so. Right, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. You the tree of love. Yep. Fly bar. That seems kind of wacky. Um. Uh, I'll do full moon dance off yep. the quest score onto Altoy. Sure. Uh, yes. Like this. I look quicker down. Uh. The Okay. Uh, what was that? Thank you. Yep. I don't. It's really weird. I never do that in physical play, but just something about tabletop. Is Oh, oh, so you pulled, you, right you babied the Gliscor back into debt like the last turn or something, huh? I did, yes. Yeah. I was like, wait a minute, but then, oh yeah, that makes sense, yeah. Uh, and then we'll Cosmic Power. It's probably just because uh, TTS cards come out of deck face down, so you just want to pick them into your hand immediately. Right, yeah, that's right. And in real life, you just show it on the way. You just... Night Maintenance for M Fighting Press. Okay. And that's all I can do. Okay. Also, yeah, I know I did say hi, Sims Mage, but hello. Uh, oh, God. This could be better. I'm just getting kind of shafted by luck on this game, unfortunately. Not being able to draw like anything worth a damn here. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, let's see. Just trying to think how this even works from here. The answer is it probably doesn't, to be honest. Uh, The older one? What do you mean the older one? Oh man. Yeah, I needed to be a little bit more lucky than this, I think, in this getting that chip, but whatever. We'll attach and I don't really see much I can even much I can even do is the annoying thing here. I guess we'll, yeah, because yeah, I just I don't have anything in hand I could even play. It's just like, what can I? What am I even supposed to do? I've had no luck whatsoever in this game in getting anything set in terms of like actually drawing cards, and uh, yeah, it's just 
I guess we'll just hit for the 40 with uh, Psychic Restore, and I'm not going to put it back, because, yeah, uh, I'm never going to get it back out of the deck anyway, so, like, what's the right. point? Um, Full Moon Dance, Crest, Altoid. Treat, Plex, Shoot Poison. Yep. Um, there we go. And Burning Poison, just for Poison. Okay. Uh, he's got plus That's okay. not how this works. You've got to pick the Pokemon up, right? Yeah. Yeah, I guess we'll do that first and then I'll figure out how to play Yeah, it's like if you're gonna if you're gonna bring someone in you've gotta actually, you know, pick the full thing up. Yeah. 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 And run attack cost energy. <laughs> That's uh Box from kill, the bicycle is just a straight up kill. That is the one thing I have going for me at the moment is that most of your stuff is just straight up dead if I actually get a hit. Yeah. <laughs> I do not enjoy it. I think we're gonna go bicycle though. Okay. I've put the damage on for the poison, so. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> I mean, it's cute, but still doesn't. Mm. Energy pickup. Yeah, that's fine. Expected outcome on that at this point. Uh, what point, I suppose? Dang, they keep coming, dude. Well, yeah. Uh, this deck was what was going to be played. I have to play at least a few outs to it. Like, it's, it's fucking obvious. If I had space, I'd be playing 4 Switch and 4 Warp Point. Probably full <laughs> super scoop up as well, to be honest. Take a very modern mentality on the stuff that way. Right, I've got to go in this way, and I've got to dual trans because I just I I can't draw anything in this game. So yep. Uh, let's see. Attempting cards oopsie around. I will say that. And moon dance soft press into. Toy. Yeah. Right. Bubble up. Yep. Shoot poison. So yeah, we'll just bounce to hand. Is it just doing the same again then? No, uh... Yeah, just keep poison, okay. basically. Uh, please don't put the counter in the middle there. There's a reason okay. I put it at the top, is because the uh, damage counter can go in the middle, and that's still a much easier one. Yeah, sense to me. Because uh, otherwise it just goes up top. Oh, thank fuck, I actually drew a card. Uh... <laughs> It's only oh my god! Now I can't play because it it's been weird. It's only taken fucking ten turns before I there get a go. goddamn supporter card. So uh, yeah, we'll uh, finally get our clay doll, and I'm actually be able to start playing the game a little bit now. Uh, admittedly, this is why I run a two four clay doll line in most of my deck. Two <laughs> four, really? That's a lot. It's also kind of bad if I'm being honest with you, but whatever. Uh, Right, we'll use the Clay Doll. Although, honestly, I don't think I can win this from here because I think you've got two established, but we'll see. Um, I mean, that's kind of cute. Don't know if it's going to do enough, but uh, we will go for a pickup. Okay. 
hitting more of those than I have in like the entirety of this last week in this one game alone, so you know. Yeah. I'm actually not kidding. I think I'm about two for fifteen in terms of hitting this in in week testing at the moment. So it's uh, not been very good. Let's just put it that way. Um. Okay. So realistically, <laughs> am I even going to ever get another attack off of that thing if I do? Probably not. It's tempting to put it on the lantern as a result, to be honest. Because Lantern can also do a fair amount of damage here, but no, nah, I think we'll put it on the other Kyogre. Uh, we will... We'll warp point. <laughs> yep. Uh... I'm not exactly happy about it with this, to be perfectly honest with you, but... Uh, yeah, um... Yeah, I guess there's not really any way around, because it is... That's on no Q on there as well, is it? No, it's not. It's the thingy on there. Okay, but yes. uh, you did you bounce... Did you bounce Q to hand at one point? Because I know I've killed one, but I know you had like three. Yes, so. yeah, I've, I've bounced one. Yeah. Of course, I've played some stuff that removes cards from hand, but... Sure, but yeah, it's very likely that it's just there again. Uh, I mean, I have to go in with it. There's not really anything else I can realistically do. Uh, we'll attach a water, and yeah, again, because you've already got both glide score down, realistically, not a lot I can do, but uh, high tide here. Yep. Which, you know. Oh. Yeah, it's 20 to everything as well. Which is great in theory, but, you know. Yeah, this is the problem. Celia. And we'll do Full Moon Dance off of it all. Yeah. Into it all. Yep. Cosmic power. Yeah, yeah, that's the other frustrating bit. Is there's like no way of uh, dinging that down either. Bounce the hands. Yeah. Poison. Uh, but we're going for the burn this time. Is that a. No, just no. the poison. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, honestly, it doesn't matter. You've got this. There's nothing I can do. Sick. Yeah, I. I don't think there's realistically any way I was beating this deck. Uh. The Kingdra 100% beats it if you flip at least one heads on Super Scoop Up, because the deck is playing yeah. four Switch Outs and four Super Scoop Up, so it loses to the best deck in the format. But yeah, I don't, I don't have anything else I can do. I was just too slow because I didn't draw for ten turns. You got your uh, your Switch Outs pretty quickly, so you had at least that going. Yeah, for you, but... but I didn't have any of those left, and I could see it as just like this is this is why Trevenant Excel Gore and uh, Gore Patel and the thingy was also like the worst thing to ever exist because this is exactly <laughs> the same situation. And I'm just like, yeah, because you've got the crest and you can move the counter away, it's like I can't do anything. So. Yeah, um, I feel like if I could have actually drawn cards in that game, I would have actually probably won that, to be honest. Because, uh, yeah, if I could have, I could have done more high tides, right? If I'd have actually drawn for more than just like one turn in the game. But I didn't get Claydol for 10 turns because the deck hates me, so not much I can do. Yeah. So. Yeah, I mean, you missed at least one attack when you uh, did the Yitzi attack instead. 
so that could have been a high tide. Yeah, two. that would have been a really good one too, because you wouldn't have been able to move enough damage away from the clay doll. I could have devolved it because I had two devolvers mm -hmm. in play, so uh, you wouldn't have been able to shift enough counters away to to avoid that getting KO'd. So I could have maybe stunted the system a little bit on that one. So. Yeah. Yeah, it is what it is. Uh, this deck is untested anyway, but in the long term. But I think it's it's all right. Looking at it, uh, it's not the worst thing I've ever come up with. But uh, yeah, it doesn't quite work on that infinite uh, resource loop, I suppose. All right. I'll say I didn't expect to see Groudon or Kyogre this week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's my secondary deck. I I cooked up like an album or two beforehand. <laughs> oh, okay. Groudon and Reggie Rock. I was just trying to think of uh, potential good partners for the Reggie Rock, and well, Groudon actually does good damage. Basically. Yeah, it then it kills the Reggie Rock for it as well. <laughs> so, you know. <laughs> uh, was... Right, we'll, uh, we'll be shifting out there. Let's wait for, for Sai to. There we go. Alright, yeah, so... Uh, this one's a bit of a weird one, I will admit, but... Uh, I kind of wanted to have something... Oh, I didn't even change thing. Uh, that's fine, because this doesn't work anyway. Um, don't know if I even shuffled looking at that. Right, I forgot to change player. Uh, I'm not enjoying this format a lot. Honestly, uh, yeah, the ban list was a mistake on this one because uh, Leafeon and, uh, to a lesser extent, uh, Torterra would have been a much better thing to have access to in this round. Okay, well, uh, I am ready to get donked on this one. What would you like? Tails. Uh, I think I might actually uh, need that turn. Um, okay, we will draw. God damn, this hand just does not want to do anything. Uh, Alright, well, I'll attach a water because this is for Colas. And uh, yeah, we'll raise a fin for 10. Game does not want me to play very much today. Okay. All energy. Stark went. Yep. Cynthia's feelings. Uh, that's a shuffle draw, not a straight draw. Oh. Oops. Bad. God, if it was draw 4 or draw 8 if you had a KO, like raw draw, what the hell, dude? <laughs> My bad. Pokemon's broken, but not that broken. Um. Then we'll use the call energy. Okay. So I at least survive. Yay. Seems good. Okay, we will draw. Yeah, the one thing that would be uh, the other reason why this, uh, at least pure guys go, like uh, Matt's playing, the other reason that deck probably doesn't win versus like Kingdra apart from weakness is because uh, if I was playing Kingdra, I'd be teching Dawn Stadium this week. So you attach an energy to the Kingdra and removes the special conditions. And uh, yeah, from there you kind of just crumble. Uh, right, I have a lantern, so there's at least that going for me. Uh, we will baby search, get rid of this guy. And okay, oh my god, these these prizes are almost thing worthy. I do have a bow toy, so I can at least do something. Man, that's very scary, actually, how close that was to disaster. Alright, sure. Uh, I need to put a lightning to attack, so I'll put the multi-energy down here, and we will energy split. 32, you're only the Gligar, because it's the only thing that's got energy on it right now. 
So you can kind of see where the idea of this deck comes in. It's like, yeah, I can hit the uh, Glide Score for Weakness. If, yep, if I can ever touch it, I can hit the Glide Score for Weakness. And the uh, Kingdra deck tends to put like one energy on a bunch of things at the uh, at, like one time only. So I can go ahead and pick stuff off that way too. Oh, Lucario as well. Yikes. Okay. Yep. Focus Blast the active. Right, so that's going to do 50 because of my plus 20. Okay, we will draw. Thankfully, I can still do stuff off of that. Right, we've got Claydol. I have a water, so we can go with there. Uh, we'll use the Claydol. And draw our six. You would think that would help. Uh, it kind of does, though. I do have Roseanne, so I've at least got something. So, like, it's not the, the worst I've ever seen, but uh, this hand can do with a bit more than that. Uh, right, I've got water for the hand, and we'll bench Kyogre here. So, this into hand, and then the only other thing I can do is Aqua Bolts, which is going to do 90, because I have three waters on me, so... Jump on. Oh, damn it. <laughs> it's 40 exactly. God. Oh, there's a thing for that now. I keep forgetting. You can just do that and discard them. Uh, well, I mean, I've got to go in Kyogre. There's nothing else I can do, but <laughs> damn it. <laughs> oh, well. Um, I'm not going to complain too much because it's... Yeah, uh, you did hit me with 50 before, and then you could have had box training or something as well to do it. I know you play it, so... Uh, we will Night Maintenance here. Don't know if I'm too much of a fan of putting the Chinch outline back in. And then again, it does do a reasonable amount. I don't think I'm going to get a chance to use it again, though. Um... I'm actually only going to put the one water back in here. I might get pickup or something, I suppose. Ah, uh, do I put it back in? Your pile looks so messed up on my end. <laughs> oh god, yeah, it really does. What the hell happened here? <laughs> e. E. Uh, um, yeah, like, I kind of... I don't even know. No. No, I'll put them both back in. I don't think it's worth putting the Chinchou line back here now, so we'll do that. Uh, bench of Baltoy, two, three, four, five, six. So let's go one, two, uh, for the Claydol. Okay. Um, Curious. Oh, I should bet, uh, discard that too. Uh, feels a shame to waste the damage, but I don't see it mattering anyway. Let's box training here. Ah, yeah, that didn't quite do what I wanted, but whatever. Uh, we'll bench Rotom and I will use the Drizzle to attach. I was hoping to get a manual attach as well, but it didn't quite get free energy. Mm -hmm. and we will eat Burning Poison. Oh man. Which one would you like? Uh, we will Poison. Okay. We... Flygar's too damaged to risk. Yeah, I understand that. Yeah, it's... Oh, fucking next card was the energy, really? <laughs> like, goddammit. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's that's annoying. Um, Alright, let's be base here. Just getting ready for that. Yep. Um, I think Baby Search. I can't, 
Is it weird that I kind of want to get Jin Chao? Because <laughs> it actually did good before. Um, yeah, no, I think I will, because it actually wasn't terrible. Uh, we will use the Clay Doll, bounce the one. For our draw. Um, it's kind of good. Let's bench another Kyogre, and uh, yeah, we will go ahead and uh, high tide here. Oh, I need to take damage from the poison, sorry. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, sure. Light poison. All right, so that is ten plus poison. Okay, so effectively twenty. And uh, this goes back up. Okay. We'll draw. Uh, let's go for pickup. I did discard uh, basic stuff last time. Yeah, I did. So I right, getting a lot better at that today. Oh yeah, yeah. Right. So we get this. That can go on you. I I don't like to do this preemptively, but I think I will warp point myself as well here sense. So we'll get the attach. We'll use our Claydol. Thankfully I don't have like six different abilities or whatever I can use at the moment so it's a bit easier. Uh, poison's off of this. Lantern. Uh, will Roseanne here? Grab ourselves lightning water. And then we have already attached this turn, so um Is there a punish if I don't high tide here? No, actually, I would take the damage counters off here. I'm going to Drizzle instead, and I'm going to attach two to the... Uh, it's got to be to the same Pokemon. I'm going to attach two to the Kyogre. Like, there is a way this backfires, but I kind of feel like it's fine. Yep. Every search. See, I figured you're gonna have one anyway. And maybe that's wrong because I could have, I could have killed me that way. But also, like, how am I getting an attack next turn if I do that? I think it's better to build the long-term game plan up first here. Oh, you. Okay. You prized them, haven't you? Um, yeah. Burning poison? Oh no. <laughs> Which one would you want? Uh, poison. Yeah. Oh, that's a feels bad. Yeah. 
Okay, uh, yeah, I did mark it up to 30, so... Well... I mean, sure, we'll attach and retreat with the lightning. Um, I don't think I need to do that one, so we'll just use the claydol here. And, like, I can get up to better hand size, but... Um, and then we'll high tide, yeah. No, this isn't even. This is just playing around. I can't do anything Sorry. here. You prized them both, haven't you? Oh, not. Okay. What? What? What were you expecting to get? Clay doll, right? Wouldn't have helped. I guess. Uh. No, I was just thinking that you'd need more stuff to get into the game, so I was like, yeah, thinking that. At huh? that point, it was too late. That's fair. Yeah. This is a weird one, like, it was, it felt kind of like completely hopeless against Matt's loop because he just managed to get all of them down and the crest at the same time. So like, it kind of felt helpless against that, but I don't know, this like, this is a different deck. It is. And I think even though like starting that, uh, that Chin Chow was like kind of awful, uh, I do feel like that lantern did a hell of a lot in the end, way more than I was expecting it to. Uh, this, on the other hand, we'll see. Uh, let's tails. go for tails. Alright, good to see it's just as good as my PTC chill lock on that one. And we will scratch. Yep. Does do the tent. Okay. We'll draw. Oh, did you draw for ten? Did I? Let's see. I One, see seven two, total three. cards, right? Yeah, I need to draw. Whoops. Yeah. That's fine. Um. Oh, God. Unfortunately, can't do a lot with this one. We'll bench a Chin Chow and we'll just, uh, we'll just drizzle here. Huh. Rosanne's research? Yep. Yep. And curse and deceive. So we have three damage counters. All right, hey Num, uh, we'll draw. Um, that both does and doesn't do things. It's a little bit weird. Uh, we'll get lantern. We'll baby search. So like on the one hand, yeah, it does stuff. But on the other hand, I would have rather liked to have been able to attack this turn. But you know what? I ain't gonna complain too much. It just now, uh, you do kind of KO, well, you KO with the return of, of that, if you will. Which, mm, I don't know, we'll see if that's good or bad. Uh, yeah, we'll get Baltoy, it looks... Uh, just double check the rest. Yeah, that is about it. Uh, yeah, okay, go ahead. Baby search? Yep. Alright, we're gaming now. This to the bottom. Oh, whoops. That's fine, I'm getting confused by it as well. And then we will curse and deceive. Yep. You know, I almost don't see why it had to get like moved in the first place, but whatever, I can understand. Okay, we'll draw. I do have Claydol. Claydol in hand at the start with no Bow Toy feels bad. 
Um, let's go ahead and bottom deck this guy. Draw five. Oh god, you would think that would do something, but... I am seriously gonna get fucking knocked out by a goddamn Shedinja pub. This is really silly. <laughs> god. Uh, we'll... Respect the Shed. Bench the Baltoy? Yeah, I just... I have 17 energy in this deck and I can't draw a single one. This... You're not getting attacked this turn. Uh, not unless I... Not unless I lock out on this. I'm just getting ready for it. I mean, okay, you might get attacked this turn because I do have Cynthia, that is a card I kept. Uh, yeah, but look at that, I can't do anything with this. <laughs> it's, all the it's all the recovery stuff and not the actual thing for it. Yeah, so we'll draw four. You have to be kidding me. That... <sighs> that just seems unlikely. <laughs> Alright, fine. We'll, we'll bench another one. And, uh... Fuck, there's like nothing I can even do, is there? This is just really annoying. Ah, <sighs> yeah... Do I just... Yeah, I mean, I, might, I, think, I don't think I have a choice. Go ahead. 17 fucking energy in death and I can't draw a single one. The rear ball? Yep. I literally drew like 12. Uh, I drew like 10 cards that turn. Ah, as well. that's prized. Okay. That's good to know. Yep. Be annoying, but we'll live. And do I want to. No, these two can go bottom. Okay, that's kind of annoying, actually. Where was Zion's research? I kind of wish I had drawn into that, or edited in that way, you know. Uh, it's fine. Gligar. Stark Mountain. Sure. And Curse and Deceive for the knockout. Yeah, yeah. Just obnoxious. I had so many energy, so many turns I could have had anything going there. <sighs> okay. We'll draw. Next fucking card. I hate this game. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> I'm a little bit annoyed right now. Uh, Alright, we'll Roseanne. Next fucking card was the energy that I needed. So stupid. Uh, we'll grab Rotom and the Lightning here. So that can go. We will... It's not really going to do much anyway, so I'll put the Devolusa on the Kyogre. Uh, we will go ahead and... Put the two for the Claydol. Draw the full six. Uh, energy pickup? Uh, I should do it there just in case. Since the water energy is directly on top. Uh, and yeah, we're going to use uh, energy split here. So yeah, as you've already put on, 30 on all of your stuff that has energy on it. Quest score. Mm -hmm. I don't want to do this. He's 
to in the bottom. Patch fighting. Yep. Stark Martin. Okay. Yep. Curse and Deceive for the Confuse. Yep. And the uh, 30. Okay, let's see what we can do. Um, well, there's a second clay doll, so that's at least something. I think we are attaching to Kyogre. Let's night maintenance just to Kyogre back in. Then we can use the clay doll. Yep, thank you. So that's clay doll draw at five. Energy pickup. Okay, that's fine. As you would say, uh, as I would say, expected result. Uh, what point? Not a massive fan of doing that earlier, but yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. I think we've got to go in with you, right? Because I kind of do need to get damage going. Uh, right, I don't have it quite yet, but, uh, because, you know, RNG and stuff, but, uh, we're fine. I've still got one clay doll plus a supporter, so I should be okay. Uh, we'll bench another Kyogre so I can use, uh, clay doll number two for another five. You know, just a casual ten cards drawn this turn, nothing too big, right? Okay, um, we do have a water... And I will... Do I want to do that one? No, nope. what? Do we want that, is the question. Um... Because it's kind of irrelevant for him, but at the same time, it's probably best I will use box training here, so I can get an extra couple for... Next turn, and uh, yeah, we are going to discard the two and high tide here. So you will have spread your stuff. Yep. bottom. Mm -hmm. Oh, he does have 90 HP. Dang. Yeah, both Lucario did. I'm not that surprised. Yep. Ooh, okay. Um... So you can move the energy over. Uh, a little bit awkward, but I guess... Do we just go here? Yeah, I guess so. Yep, does have zero retreat after all. Curse and deceive. So now that replaces the uh, yeah replaces the thing with confusion. Uh yeah okay. Yeah Maple Story background music, which is maybe gonna get content ID, but whatever. Uh okay yeah um maybe should have seen that coming, but it's probably okay because we do have a wall point.
I don't mind getting hit by one. Okay. Uh. Sure. Let's go. Attach to Kyogre. I have six, so we can do these two with you, draw two, um, these two with the other one. Oh, I should have put them on the deck, that's the whole reason I didn't move the deck before, so I could put the bottom cards there, but whatever. I'm a dummy, it's fine. Uh, and then we are just going to energy split, so this takes You 30. still take the damage I from do, this? I do because it doesn't say it has to be active. So that's up at 80. Uh, this goes up to 70. Only Lantern is it's the only one I have in play. This takes nothing because there's no energy on it. And, this also uh, goes up to 80, right? Yes. Training. Okay. I think we'll just focus Blast Sacker for you. Sure. Get a knockout. Slides I in. really wish that wasn't raised. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's too late. Uh, Yikes. Too late to uh, matter. Yeah, I wouldn't have been able to this one this turn I don't think because no, I No but the rest it. of my bench is yeah the way bench too is at that the point. bench is looking real rough yeah uh that's the rest of them as well it was not good no it's understandable uh yeah okay um this I guess is what happens when you hit more than more than like zero energy I had two lantern prized I didn't even see that <laughs> Lantern is surprisingly okay in this matchup. I was thinking it was going to be terrible, but uh, at least the way that this deck plays, it's surprisingly alright. Why am I doing it this way when the whole point of this thing is to is we have discard buttons now? <laughs> Keep forgetting on that. Uh, yeah, the hand was relatively good. I had energy to attach. I was probably going to use like restore. I was considering it anyway. Uh, Cynthia to shuffle draw 8 seems pretty good there. The only thing this deck is missing, which I know the Blastoise is supposed to fix later, right? The only thing this deck is missing is being able to accelerate the energy without taking an attack or something. Like, energy pickup is good, but only if you can flip it, right? And Drizzle does take a turn, but I suppose you can set it up where it's like you you do your attack and then you Drizzle to like the next turn to whatever's next in line, because it's not that easy to disrupt everything super well in this this format. So, I don't know. It's it's decent. Oh, there's a Magmorta over there. Was dumb. God, that's very brave. Uh, no, that's not Magmorta. That's Viperia, isn't it? No, it's not. It's red, but it's Groudon. Yeah, okay. So, I think, apart from the usual bit, uh, Pepper's probably coming under the same issue I was coming under of... Uh, yeah, I mean, Glyscore obviously just runs away, but it's mostly when I played against this with the Carbo Tops, it was like, uh, Resistance just kind of killed you. And, uh, yeah, there's not really a lot you can do on that. Uh, there are, oh, there aren't any decks spread at the moment. Okay, I'll spread mine on the left, on the right-hand side here, then. It is an interesting enough idea. I did come up with this today, though, so it is rather unrefined, but I think the idea is kind of there. Uh, Kyogre spread is quite powerful to, to deal with as we go, and uh, it isn't impossible to chain the attacks. Like you could maybe play Togekiss or something with this, but I think that's the uh, I think that's a bit too clunky of, a, of an idea overall. When the Kyogre can just accelerate the stuff itself, and I was looking at it going, well, 
60 is not awful, and it can, you know, spread a lot too, so it's like it two shots the pixie stuff, it does quite a lot to most boards that way, and uh, that spread eventually lets you devolve things and be really good. Like Lantern synergizes with the spread as well, apart from just being decent against Kingdra. Sadly, it's not even like the silver bullet type thing against Kingdra, right? Because it only does 60, uh, which is dumb. And Aqua Bolt takes four water attacks before it one shots the Kingdra, so it's not quite like really a... needs scramble. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I I felt like even just with two multi because I didn't want to overextend on that. I need a lot of basic water because that's the only thing Kyogre can accelerate. So I was like, I really want to go as low as I can on the other stuff. This is mostly a Kyogre deck, with the Lantern being there mostly as an addition stuff, but and potentially a heavier single target hit. And I think it accomplishes that quite well in the end. Uh, because the Kyogre, as you saw, chips a lot of stuff down on the bench so that it's easier to pick off with uh, a singular attack from the Lantern. And yeah, Lantern can sometimes just get in and do 30 to a bunch of stuff if uh, energy gets attached all over the place, uh, which is common for most of the decks in this format. Uh, you know, like you've got one energy things, you're building up uh, maybe two energy on the stuff there. Obviously Kingdra is a single energy deck, so it only ever puts one on the active. AMU, the other deck I was going to play today, is a two energy deck at best. Uh, right, it doesn't need to attach more than two, so they tend to attach in a bunch of places as well. So the Lantern can kind of get a bunch of chip in, as well as being that like finishing blow. Plus you can just drizzle to Lantern. Right, and then it's already set to just swing big for the rest of the game, uh, so long as long as it lives anyway. Which, uh, admittedly, not very long against this deck, but it did just about enough. So, yeah, I was alright with it. A bit annoying that I had to trigger the confusion stuff on Shed, but like, what else was I gonna do? Like. My Kyogre, Shed is an asshole. my Kyogre got KO'd because I couldn't draw one of my 15 remaining energy in like, you know, three, three full turns. Shed is just an asshole. Ah, uh, that was just bad luck as well though. Spread is not really the best way to deal with the shit in Shed. Not necessarily, but like, I feel like the fact that I could attack on two axes with this deck, like if I could have done the, uh, the high tide, and killed the Shed in one shot, like, as I should have been able to do within one of those two turns. It's like, okay, now just one Kyogre takes the damage and I've still got Lantern I can go with, so I can recover from that. Or if it's just Lantern that's getting hit, it's like, alright, that's only one and it tends to die in one hit in this, uh, this uh, matchup anyway. So, I'm okay with that. But yeah, no, it's... It is annoying, for sure, and I can definitely see why it would be you know, very useful, but yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of with you on this one though, this wasn't a particularly enjoyable format, but I think a lot of that has got to do with the bans though. Uh, I think if we didn't ban uh, both Torterra and Leafeon, uh, I was going to play one of those this week, because Leafeon obviously does, well both of them do, but Leafeon in particular does extremely well against Kingdra. Like, what the fuck is Kingdra gonna do to a Leaf Guarding Leafeon? Uh, 20 damage a turn, with discarding every time. <laughs> right? The snipe damage gets a little bit annoying, but it's. Then you only put down one or two at a time. Yeah, so. And Torterra doesn't resist water, but the fact that that deck is so tanky in the first place, like, Tort just lives to Kingdra anyway. And uh, Leaf Storm actually can make it even harder because where do you spread damage to? Uh, you got to spread it on the clay doll and stuff, I guess. But like, you're not spreading onto the stuff that actually does work. Plus, Sceptile resists as well. Uh, yeah, I very nearly went uh, with Sceptile and Yarn Mega. Actually, it was something I didn't quite build, but I very nearly did because I was like, okay, what the hell do we do to stop this stupid seahorse from, like, overrunning everything? It's just way too powerful this week. And, uh, yeah, like, 
I think I, f I ended up working out the Sceptile just isn't a good enough answer to it, because yeah, Kingdra's got a free shot it, but Sceptile has to get two heads in order to two shot back, right? And if you don't two shot it, Super Scoop Up gets in the way and it's just like, oh, uh, you know, I think it still loses by itself. But we banned the partners that go with it. <laughs> so, yeah, that may have been a mistake. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> I mean, I don't really have anything else to play right now. And... That is fair. I had two things I kind of wanted to. I really did want to show AMU, but I can wait. I think we could show that yeah. later on. Um, there was a Foss last deck I actually kind of wanted to play. Uh, I don't know if you'd be remotely interested in trying against that, but... I don't have anything that goes against it, and this is a Water Week deck, so... Well, yeah, it's half Water Week. Uh... Yeah, that is that is the thing, isn't it? There's a lot of water in this format. Well, yeah, it's most... I would say it's mostly one deck, and then, of course, I bring in something entirely different, but... Uh... Again, I figured I was trying to work out what would actually be playable against the format, and this was the best that I came up with. I don't know if I really got it right, per se, but... It's as much as I could do. Uh... Yeah. Yeah, the Force Last was the thing I wanted to test midweek too, and uh, obviously got too pissed off at <laughs> the luck from Pepper. So he did. He got me good as well. I got no starts. Yeah. Other than that one unknown donk. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's not really. I mean, unless you want to play one of the other things I have here, uh, there's not much else I can really really do. Uh, uh, Cardon versus this is gonna take forever. Oh yeah, yeah. But the thing is, it kills the regular Gliscor. That is true. Which is the problem that I encountered. Yeah. I think the thing for me, maybe what I should have, I mean I would have needed boss switch cards as well. I think maybe the the tech of the century for this deck here would have been Mantine this round, right? Because if I had, if I'd have played Mantine, I could have given my Kyogre's zero retreat. So I'd just play like Mantine and more physical switch, and just like, yeah, switch, uh, use switch, and then zero retreat with the Mantine back out to the Kyogre, and just be able to keep going from there. But it's so much to try and fit in, and I was already stretching it a lot. Maybe I could have cut down the Lantern by one more. I did have 4-4 in here initially though, because I thought that was going to be more important, but... Uh, I don't know. It seems a bit high rolly, and I don't think I could afford to cut any more energy, because, I mean, hey, sometimes you just don't get it anyway, but it's like, I want... Technically, I want free energy in my opening hand if I can, but two is still like two is the minimum you want, right? Because you need to at least be able to threaten the turn two high tide if possible. So, I don't think there's a lot of space I could make. Maybe an energy restore could go. Uh, I wish we had energy retrieval right now, that would have been so much better here. <laughs> Restore is not the worst, but it's, yeah, time-space distortion for basic energy is, like, not as good as retrieval, obviously. So, would have liked that. Maybe could have gotten away with only one Night Maintenance in here? I thought I'd need it more, but I ended up just drawing both of them most of the time and not being able to burn them, so... Like, I was Night maintenance for just one card. Uh, admittedly, I could have gotten energy back. But I was like, no, because I have so many of those anyway, and if I draw a pickup, that's another way I can get an energy into play, maybe. So you keep at least one basic in the discard. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it was too much of a anti-meta, if you will, pick for the stuff here, but even then, I'm not sure, because, like, how much does it actually 
beat the stuff in the end is the weird bit, right? Because, yeah, like, Lantern, if the Gliscor decides to attack, Lantern technically gets one shot, uh, Night Slash does 80, and then the poison finishes you off. So, like, yeah, it's not the most, the most effective attacker in that one. And as you saw, if you can establish the loot too quickly, or like too efficiently. I still think I could have been more favored in that game though if I actually fucking drew Claydol before like the 15th turn of the game or something. Cause that was that was annoying, but that happens sometimes. Yeah, it does. I guess the other thing is maybe I could have uh, I could have played like an additional switch or something because I do only have I say only I do only have four switch outs in this deck. Or the Dawn Stadium would have been the other thing. I really need this thing to not be prized. Yeah. Oh, I understand that. Uh, I was thinking about it, going, yeah, that would that would kind of suck. I was trying to keep a warp point handy for stuff that way, but. Okay, well the only problem... good choice to go Lucario early. Yeah. Instead, and then I got punished for it because surprising. Yeah. No, I get that. I get that. Yeah, it looks like a. I wouldn't say an awkward deck to play because it's not. It doesn't seem that awkward for it. I guess it's just there's a ton of Pokemon in here, right? But it does make sense because it's all evolution lines and whatnot. And then two on. They're relatively cheap attackers. Yeah. Yeah, to the point where you could, in theory, maybe... Well, no, because this is a free energy attacker, right? So, unless you just focus blast all the time. I was thinking, yeah, you've got, you've still got 14 energy in here. That could maybe have even come down one or two with how few energy you need. But then this is a free energy one. Uh, if it was the old Lucario, then maybe you could have done that, but... What do you Spike think of... Larry, it's very good. Yeah, I was going to say, what do you think of this guy compared to the other one, then? Eh, different, but this is a pretty good condition on it. Like, 80 damage if it's already damaged is fairly respectable. Yeah. Would you consider a mix in this if we, if you were, like, looking to refine this over another week uh, the or something? the old Lucario? Probably. Yeah. Like, they're both really good. Yeah, they're, they've got good situations for, for both of them, yeah. Like, the other one is nice to be able to do cheaper, efficient attacks. Whereas this one has a bit more snipe focus with the one energy thing, and then it's got the finishing blow as well, right? Which is really good. No, I, I quite like it. Um, what was the other thing I was going to say in here? Ah, uh, potentially Regirock was the other thing I would have looked at in here. I don't know how you would have fit it in. It would have probably had to be instead of an unknown or something, but and I don't know if that would have been the right move, but. Being able to retreat the Lucarios is very handy. Yeah, I think I'm mostly ju I'm mostly considering that because it's like, well, Regirot with your Stark Mountain is a really good uh, mover. That's what I did with the Carbitops deck, actually. Uh, I have a lot of stuff I could bring out, to be honest, to, to fill the void here. But yeah, no, the Regirock is a fantastic thing to, to pair with Stark Mountain to accelerate energy in play, and that lets you build up your Spike Lariats more effectively. Then I need to start looking into Felicities, though. Not necessarily. Like, Regirock isn't always an early game thing. Uh, you can play it after stuff has been KO'd, or if you had to pay fighting to retreat or something. Uh, Felicity is good, don't get me wrong, and maybe you could take out like a box training or something for it. Uh, you maybe don't need a full four, but you probably don't need to worry that much about it. You're already having to discard two for Regirock as well, so you don't want to don't want to discard two too much, right? I guess you have a lot of Pokemon though, so you probably have. I do run two Night Mints. Yeah, it's like you probably have a bunch of hands where you've got like too many Pokemon in there already, so maybe you could play Felicities because of that and just go, right, I don't need these guys out this game, or I don't have space for this, I'm just gonna focus on the other bit. Usually it gets put to the bottom. Yeah, true, but uh, I imagine there'll be times where, because you're bouncing the Gliscor back as well, there's times where you just can't Claydol down to enough to draw with that. 
if you've already got other Pokemon in the hand as well. I don't know. Especially if it's one that's already Night Slashing. Yeah. Right, the problem with stuff at the moment, because they're in a six-hour game at the moment, uh, we need to wait for them for the ban, so we pro do you want to do something in the meantime? Because uh, we could probably do a bit. Like, well, I think I know what's going. I know at least, obviously we know at least one thing that's going with Kingdra. it. Kingdra. Yeah. Like, it kind of has probably to. Probably the Gliscor level X as well. Yeah, it's probably... Ah, I want to say it has to be the level X. There is a promo one that could maybe be used instead later on. I kind of actually would rather hit the one, the the regular level one, because the other level X, or the other uh, Gliscor is like really not very good uh, in comparison, and it doesn't have the scoop up part that makes this so strong in the first place. I suppose. And uh, yeah, if you don't hit this, it could I mean it can't do the paralysis part but it can still do the scoop up part which is uh, potentially still really dumb <laughs> and if we're banning the best water card in the format ban yo know, is it gonna be another mistake session of going oh now we have nothing that hits this and it's just gonna get played again because you know level X might not even be the most important part for it it probably is enough to hit it but I don't know. I would I would bring it up anyway because I I almost would rather just hit the hit the one that actually has the attack you play right. It's like we yeah. didn't ban Magmortar level X. We banned the Magmortar right. Even though all of the all of the Secret Wonder Mortar decks played the level X, we didn't ban the level X. We hit the other thing. <laughs> Looks like it's uh, being mapped up anyway. So. I, I guess I'll I'll move in to the other room. Just keep going if forever we've played all or not. Uh, our decks, yeah, our decks are the same. Yeah, yeah. so uh, I think you ran into the same problem I did when I played you with Kabutops, right? Of going, uh, yeah, how do I kill this thing? And I think the more annoying thing in the end is just uh, the fact that once that loot gets established, it's not quite entirely unbreakable unless both crests are in play, but uh, it's essentially unbreakable uh, without a switch out. Um, yeah, I one thing I maybe should have considered actually was uh, Dawn Stadium of my own uh, in here, because if you try and lock the Kyogre, then I can just attach to it and heal all the special conditions off it with the Stadium mm -hmm. card. So I like maybe... Yeah. Maybe I should have uh, should have considered that. Again, I built this like essentially an hour and a half before starting was about where it is uh, getting to. Yeah, uh, same for this deck, to be honest. I was just I didn't want to bring just the Kingdra because I thought that'd be boring. Yeah, so like <sighs> Kingdra was literally tier zero with the way our format ended up being because there's virtually no way of stopping it once it's up, and it's up so quick as well. Uh, you could argue, yeah, you've got the potential lock loop. Have you got your deck around as well, Matt? Uh, yeah. Yeah, if we bring that out as well so we can show, it's like, oh yeah, you could paralyze it, that's great. Kingdra plays like four to four or five switching outs plus four super scoop up. And it attacks for one energy. And you could just take the Dawn Stadium in there as well if you want. Uh, yeah, like even with all of the funny out stuff here, I'm actually not convinced this beats uh, Kingdra, even as that, because there's just so many switch outs and everything that it has in there. And it's not like Kingdra doesn't have room for Dawns. These could both be Dawns, that wouldn't hurt me a bit. Yeah. As, yeah, there's there's the four super scoot and only three warp up in this uh, warp point in this one. I see you played the Evolucer as well. I ended up playing that instead of BTS in my own build as well. Yeah, I'll uh, have partial to experiment with it. I wanted to try out how it would work. Yeah, it's similar to the last time, but I took out the Meta Gross, which for, for the handies, which probably wouldn't have, I'm not sure if it would help much. I went yeah, for the two feelings wager line. Yeah, Wager was another thing I probably could have included in stuff this time around, but I was already the, having a hard time. Break the loop, actually. Yeah, it can, but uh, 
So I guess if I if I'd have been able to go again, I think a lot of it was that I didn't get cleared all for about ten turns in the game, uh, whereas you had literally everything turn two. But uh, if I could have managed to get that cleared all away, wager would have been a way that I could have come back in. So I probably should have considered it. But again, it's just it's hard because like Kingdra was so oppressively strong against literally like everything that I tried against it, except maybe AMU, that. Uh, there was just like nothing I could do. Uh, we banned a Leafy on, which would have just been yeah. almost a complete win against it, because what does Kingdra do against a Leaf Guarding Leafy on, right? Uh, yeah, you do 20 level. damage in a pot. Oh no. Um, and we banned a Torterra, which doesn't immediately solve Kingdra because it doesn't resist the water, but it does enough and it heals enough and Sceptile resists water, so you've got enough in that matchup to do it. I think even the lower stages of Tort actually resist as well. It's only the They terror. do, they do, because it's only stopped resisting because it gains that ground subtype. Yeah, so like early game, you don't even die to the, the Kingdra stuff as well. So yeah, I would have probably felt a little bit better in this uh, this week. We had still had access to those, but I wasn't about to go, oh, I would like Leafy on bat for X because you know I built so many Leafy on decks before. It's I, like I did consider a, a rule which which reset things on a new format, but I didn't know if it would be a good idea in going into this format because there's actually a lot of stuff that also is okay here that is just a copy paste from last format. Yeah. Scotch, etc. Yeah, which is understandable. Um. Yeah, so I was trying to come up with something, and I don't think I quite hit the mark against the full loot part, but the idea of this was really good, and like when I played against uh, the Lucario thing from uh, Lucario Gliscor from Psy here, the Blanton actually put in a ton of work. Uh, like I started Lone Chinchow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I started Lone Chinchow in the first game. Uh, he had to call energy first turn, so it wasn't like an immediate donk or anything. But I started Lone Chinchow, and Lantern just one shot the uh, Lucario with a uh, multi energy for its uh, lightning cost. It was like, and even after that, energy split was doing quite a lot of good work between the two games that we played. Because, yeah, it was a decent amount of energy spread around. Uh, the logic behind the Lantern, like, it's not the best Kingdra answer, but it's one of the slightly better ones, uh, in the sense of Kingdra will spread its energy around at all times because it only ever needs one energy attached, so you're usually going to be able to hit one or two horsey Kingdra lying on the bench, as well as doing 60 to the active, and uh, late game you can potentially just get the, the remaining KOs off of the chip damage that you've done. Yeah, Box can... And two shot yeah and books makes it a two shot yeah would have liked to have had plus power in here as well but as you can see there's a fair bit required to get the setup going and devoluter was uh citrus is 80 right 80 80 so yeah even with no energy attached it's still thinking off of that uh yeah just check for devoluter that's all yeah so that's, that's true yeah not really short to do with it it's obviously it fits in spread decks but mm -hmm sure to do with it. Yeah, I'm not sure if two was correct. Maybe one would have been Maybe. fine. I initially played one and then it was like it was amazing in the first game I played with it and then the Kyogre it was attached to got KO'd and I was like, man, I really wish I had another one right now because I could devolve this clay doll that's on the bench. It'd be great. So I was like, all right, let's put another one in there and that might have been a mistake. <laughs> Probably could have had another Switch card or something in there and it'd have been better. But you do need quite a bit of uh, you need quite a bit for the resource loot for Kyogre because you need to be able to get the energy back. We don't have retrieval, so restore is the only thing I could play for that really to get it back in hand. Um, energy pickup can let you attack consecutively, which is good. Um, I think I literally hit 50/50 on that today, so uh, you know uh, that's about 60% better than I was doing in any other game in this week. So you know. <laughs> Uh, terrible. And uh, yeah, the it's it's very it's a lot of pressure when you're actually attacking with high tide a lot. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look it, but it's. I mean, it looks it to me. Sixty spread twenty. Yes, please. Right, but it's like it's the discard on it as well, right? It's it's a very high maintenance Got thing to keep going. Yeah. yeah, it's like it's like down here where I saw the saw about the Reggie Stark 
<laughs> oh, proud and lying. So I showed you, I showed this with uh, in midweek with uh, Carbotops as the main thing because I built like Carbotops Yan Mega as I mentioned during uh, during our game, Matt. I was like, mm -hmm. uh, the Regirock gives you a way with Start Mountain to keep the energy like flowing onto to chain Carbotops together, and if you could get enough attacks like going, it was actually able to deal with the Kingdra deck because they can't play their item cards to uh, to get away from it yet. So if you can just keep doing chop up and keep spreading to their bench a little bit, you will eventually get them. It's just, uh, yeah, you've got to get enough attacks going for it. And it's an unfortunate HP total that Carbotops has as well. Exactly 120. Like, god damn it. Hmm. Couldn't afford to put Unknown E in the deck as well to sort of circumvent that, so, you know. Um, yeah, so... That was the problem. Uh, AMU I did have, like, over Yonder, uh, which I didn't end up playing today, but uh, it's whatever. Uh, the deck is fine. It's one of the better potential, like, decks to go against Kingdra with, but I... I don't know. I think I'd wait at least a little bit longer on it. Uh, I have the 1-1 one, one Mighty End attack against uh, any joke who's trying to play Mewtwo, by the way, because that's the one thing this deck like, also loses to. <laughs> yeah, I, I was thinking about Mewtwo as well. It's one of the reasons I didn't want to bring it, because it just scoops to Mewtwo, and I'm not sure how to put a fight as Dark Man Battle Attacker, which didn't die to Mewtwo into this list. Yeah. Without, lo without losing too much, like, warp points for Gliscor or general consistency. Yeah, I still have four switch outs in here because I've got the uh, and I've got Palkia in this list, so I'm much better against Gliscor with this list than uh, than like the average stuff because Palkia by itself is actually really solid to uh, to get out of all the status stuff. So you know what? Oh, I know because Ditto is also a basic. Yeah, it is. Um, yeah, I was and... thinking, hang on, couldn't this run Ditto? But no, Ditto doesn't. Work. Technically it can, but yeah. No, so because the deck plays multi anyway for some reason, I guess it's because of Spatial Ren, but it's like, because the deck's already playing a couple of multi, I was like, uh, DNA actually caught me onto the Mighty Enna. I was going, right, well then Mewtwo can't attack, it can't retreat, and it can't, uh, well, it doesn't have a power, but like it wouldn't be able to do the power thing, right? So it's like, if, uh, if they do have Mewtwo, this is the one energy sort of uh, check to that, and otherwise it's not that difficult to just never play it. So. And it also helps in random matchups. Like again, it would it would ho it would hose the ground and deck because it just all it's all attacking basics and play doll. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This this yeah, it's it is awkward to be honest. Yeah. Um. So like I could have played this. I was looking forward to this one, and it is enjoyable enough. I just I wanted to try and do something else, I guess, because I didn't feel like the most confident against Kingdra with this. It can do it, but uh, you've got to get a little bit lucky to chain uh, Mesprit level X, especially at the moment. Uh, this kind of deck would be a lot better when you can actually play stuff like the Poke Drawer, so you can search for whatever you need. Because it kind of runs out of steam sometimes if you just don't get decent Yuxi balls. So, uh, yeah, it's a bit of an awkward one at the moment. You can't afford to play Claydol because Claydol is not a UC Mesprit or Azelf, so Palkia done, doesn't uh, get to be played at that point. Yeah, and... yeah. I, like, I've messed, like, I've messed the idea, but I, it's really hard to drop Claydol this format because the draw supporters are just not there. I think yeah. okay, but she, yeah, she's situational. The you thing know, is, what? I found that UC Level X is a pretty good substitute as well, though. Uh, it does actually help a lot being able to do another Pokedex uh, handy in the same turn, so... Yeah, like almost half a draw support there, so yeah, I can mm. see it. Plus, like, you get to run three UFC in this list. Yeah. Without actually running up bench space, so... Yep. The only thing I've had a hard time doing in this deck is if I have to use Restore with the level X and put it back, is getting the level X back. <laughs> Is the hardest part with this deck at the moment is because uh, it doesn't play a full four baby search either. Uh, mostly because you don't need to, but also because your hand doesn't necessarily always have stuff that you want to get rid of. Uh, it's an awkward one that way. Like, this is where it really would like level max, even though that is on a coin flip. It's like that's another way of getting your level X's out fast. So, it's not Being quite a. <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah, Celio would be another big one, yeah. So it's kind of feeling a bit of losses, but... It did make resort to the two four clay dolls, like, it's okay, at least, it should be okay at least in Kingdra and Groudon, which can discard the spare clay dolls. Maybe it's overkill in, in, in other decks, but... Yeah. I got the idea from the, uh, those two zero four Pidgeot lines, the Japanese RSPK list we're running. Absolute madman. <laughs> What I, so what, I mean, what I don't like about that is that they just clog up, like, they take up so much deck space as well as clogging up the stuff with it there. I get the idea, I just like, oh, I just feel so bad to take up that many spaces on stuff you know you're not going to get to play, and you're just permanently dis, you know, like, putting to the bottom of the deck, etc. Uh, but, I mean, maybe I should at least try something that way, but like, where Two, am I three finding three is space? also an option, you don't have to go with full four. Yeah. But I mean, it's probably not worth it from next set on because we get Luxury Ball. True. And I mean, the way that I justified it in the end is like, well, I'll just play a second Yuxi then. Because that's usually what I do, is I play like two Yuxi in most of the decks. Because it's like, you can Roseanne for Yuxi. And I'm usually pretty reasonable at getting four or five cards off of that uh, without too much issue. Uh, it's not a second Yuxi in here, especially with four scoops. Scoop Oopsie is something I've done more than once. Yeah. Yeah, so like a lot of the stuff I was looking at this time was more trying to out the uh, the stupid freaking Kingdra stuff. I went, I actually tried out like Token and Zapdos today as well. Doesn't quite do enough if you just don't flip Sheet Lightning, but uh, it does have Super Scoops and stuff in there as well, which is kind of nice. But Token Kiss is just a little bit hard to get out in the end. The Leafeon deck again was just much better than that. And the other idea was the uh, look straight, wasn't it? Which was yeah. I noticed for the week. Yeah, I mean, I would have played that, but I don't know. I mean, I know you won because you literally couldn't have hacked a better hand in, in every single turn than what you got with that. And I flipped two tails on energy patch, blah, 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 grumble, grumble. But, uh, you know, it's like, I, I just, no, I couldn't. I couldn't. Weak to glass that, yeah. probably makes it unappetizing. It doesn't help. But it also does a number on Gliscor as well, though, if it actually ever gets to hit, you know? True. Cause it, yeah, because it actually does the hit, it has to stay in, and that triggers rivalry. So yes. Something's probably dying in return. Crest is sticking in in play as well, that's the other thing. It's like there is a level X in play most oh, yeah, of the they time. Oh, yeah, Crest, yeah. So, uh,. Yeah, against a pure score deck, it's like, yeah, Crest is staying in play. I see you've got the Uxi level X in here as uh, as well, Matt. Yeah, didn't get really anything off of it, so I would definitely have that in another iteration. But... I can see what you're thinking, could you just bring it forward after a after a Glide score, score scoop, and you level X and then queue it away, but it's risky. A lot of the time it's going to be KO and your level X is going to be sitting there looking stupid in your hand. Yeah. Even more challenging, I guess, was just the bench space, because in a lot of matchups you either need, sort of need the second Cresselia, or you need the Azel, or you need the Unknown M. And, three, and you also want really... three Gligar to keep your loop going. Yeah, exactly. So it's it's pretty rare where you can actually afford to bench a Uxie, let alone bench Uxie and play a level X on it. Hmm. Plus, you might have to drop an Azel for any point if you find your level yep. X is prized. Yeah. Yeah, that was the other thing. There were a couple other things I was looking at, like Mewtwo level X as well was one that I did actually build a full deck on because uh, with plus power or something, 120 does one shot the uh, the Kingdra, but it's hard to sustain that because as soon as you take damage from the Kingdra, this te it's an interesting matchup because like technically you can recover loop them if you have enough energy because you heal 60 every time. So you can kind of do what uh, what Mewtwo V Union did to like pocket decks and whatnot and just go, you can't kill me, good l good luck. But you've got to keep getting the energy back at that point. So yeah, uh, the Kingdra voice means a long game in that matchup unless you've got some passive damage. Yeah. So it's a little bit awkward, and uh, like I say, in the Zapdos thing was another I tried, but uh, just a little bit short in the end. It was a little too hard to chain them well enough. And the other one I wanted to play midweek, but obviously got pissed off at the uh, the multiple god games in a row was uh, Frostlass. 
was something I was looking at uh, as well because uh, that card is really good. Uh, <laughs> it just it's hot. like I had, I was trying to work out an end game for it and I didn't end up liking the final iteration I've come up with here, but. Uh, yeah, it needs something that isn't just itself and the uh, the Omastar that's in here. Uh, Omastar is really good, mind you, because this can mess up the uh, level X stuff quite a bit as well. But um, it needs an end game because Frostlass itself only does 40 damage, and I couldn't necessarily figure one out. I'm not sure if you can justify a big bottle line just for both Primal Swirl over a Devaluta. Uh, Devaluta doesn't work on level X's. I did okay. initially have one in here, but no, Devaluta doesn't work on a level X, and this also mass devolves, so it's it's the same attack, same as the attack, almost the same as the attack on the previous okay. one, and uh, yeah, the idea is that you're devolving like three, four things at the same time and KOing everything in one go, especially when rare candies and stuff come into the into play, right? Like that's the thing. If you can get you just you need enough attacks, but if you can if you can just keep attacking with the uh, fast loss against Kingdra, then they're gonna have like 50, 60 damage on everything, and then one uh, one hit from Almostar just wipes out everything they have, and there's basically no recovering from that. It's a bit a bit of a closer matchup than you would I think. Bought something really dirty. This then wager. Yeah. This deck should run wages for that. I it should. Uh, I had. Uh, I was looking at the fossil excavator instead for the stuff, but I should really wager in in, uh, in place of that. Yeah. Um. Yeah. No. Like I said, didn't quite end up liking the final build of this, and didn't have time to refine it because I was looking into other bits. So I was mm. like, okay. Uh. But it's not bad. Like it gets going pretty quickly with it. Uh. Probably needs one other like switch out or something in it, but. Like, energy patch is just good for a deck that only takes two energy to attack anyway, right? So, like, it does its thing. Um, Lantern was my attempt at trying to get something that actually, like, is a closer, because you're playing a bunch of water anyway, so it's like, not much harm in playing the multi-energies, just so I can, you know, go after Lantern's Aqua Bolt as well. Don't know if that's the right play, but, like I said, didn't quite like the idea in the end with the deck, just needed a bit I more... I think Primal Spell well, should be enough of a closer, but... Uh, yeah, but I don't know. I think something that does more than just 40 outright damage would actually really help, right? Because you do I not think, have. A, I feel like more, what you want is a uh, front, something to break a setup mod, almost. Yeah. Uh, maybe the electro, but that's not weird. Yeah, that's, the, uh, that's awkward as well. I don't know. Uh, there's, there's probably something that could have been played instead, but I just couldn't work it out, so whatever, you know. Uh, but no, deck is kind of cool. The idea is definitely there. Just uh... could this have been a bronze? Mm. You do. You are spreading, so maybe. But again, yeah, that just kind of feels beautiful. like it's not really like you are only ever spreading basically with the stuff that way, and it's like not every not every deck is gonna be that sort of weak to that, you know. Glyscore doesn't actually care that much, right, for the most part, uh, because it never stays in play with that. You really need to time your Omastar very well against that deck, so you give yourself a turn. But, yeah, I don't know. Alright, well, uh, it is that kind of time of it, obviously. Uh, so clearly, the uh, especially with how freaking strong this thing was here, clearly the Kingdra has got to go. Like, yeah, I bought his I bought his party just to make sure he got banned. Yeah, like hmm. it sucks because I I don't necessarily think with that, but I I'm gonna make a proposition here actually because I don't think the level X is the ban. I think the guy score with the attack you're using that scoops up is the ban here. See that? Because if you're playing hit and run deck, it's gonna look a bit different to a scoop on these decks. You'd have you wouldn't be using Griselias as your go tos then. You'd be using. Uh, Good switchings like a Bronzong or a Bronzong Vine, that kind of thing. Was was this size primary deck? Yeah, the Lucario thing was size primary. Yeah, the Lucario. I'd take a nice gold band with cover both decks. So yeah, 
Did he hit Lucario over this? <laughs> what the hell do you hit out of this bullshit? Uh, <laughs> do you even hit anything? Because the Kyogre is going to come back with the Blastoise that is supposed yeah, to be like Blast yeah, Cat later. I don't want to buy Kyogre because of that. <laughs> Lantern's not even good enough to care about, never mind. Yeah, I'm going to learn my lesson from the Leafy on and just say, ban nothing. <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pack <laughs> clay doll, let's go. Yeah, no. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like you can <laughs> You can argue Lanza. Like I wouldn't necessarily care, it's just like Lanza literally yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think he banned do the Lucario anything. level X here. I don't see Lucario as worth it as worth it because you're also hitting the glide score out of this. That's just me. Yeah. The Lucarios are probably their own sort of deck. My thing with Lucario is that... I feel like a mixture of this and the old one would probably actually be pretty good. Yeah, I want to look at the old Lucario as well, because its energy cost looks a lot better in this format than in a format where you're thinking, I really want to DRE you, but I can't. Mm-hmm. I think if this Lucario was in before, if I was Lucario the whole, it would have seen more use, because this would have been better last format. <laughs> I, can't, I think they're both good. Yeah, now that But now they're both pretty, pretty alright, yeah. You could. Real if surprising yeah. that got a lot of work does this fuck. <laughs> I was thinking if you really want, yeah, like the Shininja was actually pretty, pretty decent. Uh, it's that would be a good like target for going hit and run into, obviously. But uh, no, it's pretty decent. Um, you could, in theory, if you wanted to hit both Glide scores for whatever reason. Like I'm, I don't know if uh, I. And that fussed with it, but it's like if you really wanted to hit both of them, you could like say, okay, one's from, yeah, one deck, one's from the other, who cares? But, uh, yeah, like I honestly just don't, I don't really know what, if anything, you would want to hit from mine, if only because the Kyogre is actually a better in a deck later on and it's gonna get unbanned then regardless. I'm learning my lesson from Leafy on and only banning what needs, what needs to be banned to avoid potentially coming back. And that's just these two, I think. Hmm. If you want to unban the Leafy on as a sorry, because again, I was kind of funny about that in the first place. Nah, cause... honestly, like, it was mostly just because Kingdra was ended up being, like, way too good as a result, and, uh, I don't know. If King Kingdra's not there, then. Put it on yeah. the table, so. Yeah, I mean, I don't mind. Like, I just. I think I'm probably not playing it next time out. We've also got a... We're on hitting the Torterra anyway, right? Because next set is Stormfront, right? So... The fighting type Torterra comes in that set, if I remember rightly. Let me just check out this quickly. Apart from, like, apart from the bullshit, is there anything that's actually a problem at this point? <laughs> I know I was mentioning this before, and I think it was in the middle of, our, of a game. That I was considering just... Just saying new format unban everything, but... Maybe? <laughs> like, let's see. The Empoleon. I guess that could be a thing. Infernate's whatever. We've got the other Infernape anywhere. Vaya's not coming back. Reggie's <laughs> not. Reggie's already gone. Blissey's not coming back. Gyarados. We already unbanned that, kinda. Rayquaza's rotated. Shiftry's rotated. Seth is rotated. Pank fuck. <laughs> oh, right, Guardy. Oh, right. <laughs> I mean, is yeah. that deck even good now? <laughs> yeah, you could bring the uh, Weavile variant. That would have been playable this week. Uh, define playable. <laughs> a pile of 60 cards that would have been legal to bring and functional in the game. <laughs> then yes, it would have been, that would have been playable. <laughs> yeah, Absol goes for itself. My motto isn't going to be a problem, I don't think. Gator's past its time. <laughs> Dust Noir's getting getting obsolete in the next set, and it's leafy. Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't be too sure about that. Because they're all good. Hopefully you've had Dust Noirs. You yep, wouldn't... they're... All the Dust Noir are good, though. <laughs> well, technically, yeah, but you can... But even under current rules, you can use one of the uh, Dark Palms, so... Yeah. So I don't, I don't I think people are winning more than one of that. Because you know how good the other two are? Uh... Mass Unban, I feel like you have to be willing to say, yes, I want to play against Empoleon, etc, etc, etc again. Yeah, Empoleon is probably my only bot. My, my, Empoleon and maybe the Guardian, my one that I'm a little iffy on. 
and Absol, but Absol's more annoying than a deck, so, you know. Absol without Sass is probably not as bad. It still sucks, but it's not as cruel. I haven't seen it in many lists for the format, I will say that, so it might just be bad, so it might... <laughs> Doubt it. I personally would rather just continue to see new stuff, unless something, like, dramatically yeah, that is the thing. changes Fair it. Enough. Fair enough. I'll just, I'll just bring up the idea because of the Leafeon. Yeah, I, I guess the Leafeon just made me think about alternative philosophies, that's all. I think it was just one of those... Uh sort of, I guess, unpredicted moments with it, right? Where it's just like, uh, yeah, we knew that Kingdra was going to be good, but, like, I didn't quite anticipate it being that warping on the stuff. And, like, honestly, if I was really that sort of thing on it, I could have gone, okay, we need to, I need to unhit this so that we have something against it, right? But I was like, no, we, surely we can work out something within the limitations and stuff. And I think this actually did a decent enough job in the end. Uh... But at the same time, it's like, yeah, maybe if if there's something that's that sort of oppressive thing in, then maybe I can uh, I will say like after you know looking into things, going okay, this is going to be a problem if we leave it unchecked. Let's look at our our stuff and see if there's anything that we've accidentally you know created a monster basically, you know, <laughs> right? Uh, Otherwise, I don't. I don't think we need to end it because, like Matt saying, I I would like to, see, and I'm still going to look into more like, newer stuff than you know replaying the old things anyway. But uh, fair enough, fair enough. as always, though, if if it ends up being like integral to something you really want to play, then we can always uh, we can always like put it in the chat anyway, right? And just go. Yeah, oh, my rules still in still around. Actually, actually, we've actually kind of considered it our class line busy as a thing to try, but if it didn't, wasn't weak to King Drop. Yeah, yeah. You can see my problems with everything this week, right? <laughs> Being... Yeah, there was like several good fire things this week, it just weak to King Drop. <laughs> I built Togekiss, he tried it, it was awesome, but it dies in one shot to King Drop, so rip. <laughs> Like legitimately, that was that was the first deck I played midweek, and it was really fun to do as well. Uh, I still haven't told Pika actually because uh, I had the Dialga level X and got did the thing because I didn't have anything else to do in that turn. Yeah, and you got 100% success rate against me. <laughs> first first time I used it, two tails on size end. Whoops! <laughs> so his entire turn got skipped. I'm like, yeah, okay. Uh, but yeah, and it no, was devastating. It really was. It's just, it was just like, yeah, everything, everything that I wanted to do just had no outs against this stupid thing this week. But eh, it is what it is. Um, yeah, are we alright? Are we alright with just hitting these two then? Is that fair enough? Seems fair. Nothing else um, was really to the point of format what you, warping. What do you think, Matt? I would call either for Lancer and Kyogre. Even if neither matters all that much, I prefer I prefer Lantern in that case because it again doesn't matter that much. It, whereas the whereas this Kyogre will come back in a Blast Catty deck list, right? Which is a platinum, yeah. I believe. Yeah, like I don't I don't see another Kyogre deck that currently exists until that, I guess. So, I mean, it's probably viable if there's ever a good Water Accelerator. So, yeah. And then, so I mean, yeah, that's fine. Lines are this cool for me. And then, I, yeah, hitting either Quai score is equivalent to hitting my deck, so that works. Then, I don't I think it's thought... the level X that's the problem here. I think I it's think... a combination of two, but I think, but I want the level X. With, I want to see if people work the level X with the other Quai score because I don't think that Quai score is terrible. Like, fine, but it's just not burning poison. I'd be willing to give it a chance with the other guy's score. And yeah. then see if it's still bad then. I didn't see Psy... I didn't see you play your deck, so I didn't know if this was like a primarily hit-and-run deck. If it was, then I would probably call for the level X It's sure. not a hit-and-run deck, per se. I'm mostly trying to exploit Pester and uh, status conditions. Now, it's hard to be sure. <laughs> and Lucario point... cleans up. Yeah, Burning Poison itself is hit and run, when you think about it. it yes, but 
in most cases I'm looking for shit poison or I'm looking for the confusion from resent hmm. so, or poisons from the Gligar and stuff like that and then exploding off of that and then using damage counters accumulated to use the spike lariats clean up so if not that then I would potentially call for a Lucario like I don't I guess again I didn't see your deck run and I guess it would just kind of yield to you guys on whatever you think, but... I mean, because you can say that this is taking a chunk out of size deck as well, so... Yeah, that. I mean... Getting rid if of this Ligar also would change the deck, because I like using Pester. Right, yeah. What I focus on is the Pester side of things, instead of oh. just scooping up every turn to avoid chaos. Gotcha. And that probably is sufficient. There's also a disc guy score. It's a pro I wanted to check the date on it, but... This is, this is the reason why I necessarily didn't necessarily want to remove the level X. This comes in Platinum, I think, if I remember my, my stuff rightly. But it's like, this is different, but it's like, this this one I think would be uh, nice to, uh, to make sure that it's at least considerable. Whereas if you ban the level X, the two things happen. One, this stupid thing still has the exact same sort of potential issues with it. I know you can't do the paralysis loop, but being able to scoop up damage is definitely still... Plus it does a lot by itself too. It's 80 damage for 2 energy when you've got the status on it, right? So like it does a lot by itself. Yeah. There's a dark cry, by the way, that you can put in play and just sleep the opponent immediately. So Pester is actually a viable attack in its own right. It's just like, yeah, I don't think this thing actually needs the level X in order to still be a playable card. Whereas the level X uh, is a lot more reliant on that just because it that's the way that it gets its uh, shoot poison off more than once. And uh, its own deck is, uh, its own attack is a very interesting sort of setup, which this one might actually be able to uh, to allow yeah. as well. This one but shuffles back into the deck though, but yeah, it, it is... It also takes an energy attack and on a flip. Yeah, but it has zero retreat natively, <laughs> so there is that. <laughs> it's the worst deck I've seen in the world, especially on a brown card. Is there any reflip cards? Not that I know of, no. Reflip? We're not at the point of Glimwood Tangle. A reflip. I heard reflip for some reason. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. Re uh, clip that. Clip that again in the uh, from the <laughs> stream. Ah, uh, no, I don't believe there is. The only one I know of uh, in any sort of time frame is Victini, right? Uh, which obviously is far too far Victini. away, but it's just like. Yeah. I don't yeah. know of any reflip card. I have not seen any reflip based cards until then, so. Yeah, not since like ESP or something stuff like that. But like, I guess what makes it kind of interesting with this guy, even if you fail to flip, you've still got the the power up paralysis poison thing. But if you get the flip, you KO in one, without having to do anything, right? So mm -hmm. that turns it into a much more aggressive thing than the infinite looping stuff, I suppose. But uh, it's kind of neat. Flip to KO. Sounds like an interesting idea. I hope they don't do something really stupid with it that makes a really annoying deck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't have this yet. This no. would be what we're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, anyway, that's that's effectively my logic of it. Yeah, if you want to hit the lantern, go for it. Uh, I don't remember what's in the next set, and apart from Magnezone, in terms of lightning stuff, if we need a lightning attacker again, we may need to look at it. <coughs> See? <laughs> yeah, but then there's so many new bits that are coming out as well that we're probably not even going to need to retouch it. It's ju I'm just looking at it going, well, if uh, if we need a lightning base thing, maybe this has to come back, But because uh, I... Honestly, I did not see very many lightning attackers at all in this format, uh, which was an issue. I mean, eventually we'll get the uh, Luxray GL, and it's like, yeah. Yeah, and then it's whatever, but it's like, so right. Certain... So right now, it was literally Luxray from various sets, but mostly this one. Uh, the Pop Series one was alright as well, but uh, damaging itself is pretty bad if it flips tails. Uh, it was that. There was technically a Manetric that did like 20 for every energy that was attached to it or something, but it was 80 HP, so bleh. And uh, we banned the decent Electabire way back, so uh, that was 
just about the only other way I to didn't attack like it. The spot anyway, so. Uh huh. But it's like. And it's Electro. <laughs> yeah, and then there's Electro, which doesn't keep up with Kingdra because it KOs itself as well, and Kingdra just repeats so quickly that. Uh, yeah, even if you weren't giving up a prize every time with it, it's just not, uh, it's not good enough, uh, keeping up in that matchup. So... so I choose level X next set? I'm not sure if it's a good card. It is, but not yet. Um, Raichu Prime is really good with it, uh, so it's got a while to wait, but, uh, it will eventually be playable. So, there's a Poketrooper who keeps getting these vintage wine box things that have, like, quote-unquote vintage and retro packs. Do you want to know what they're almost always loaded with? Go on. This right here. Pop Series 8. <laughs> fun. It is not the best pop set. <laughs> no, it is not. Oh, it would have been nice to know about that sooner. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, this is about 30 bucks IRL for a pack right now. <laughs> pack is pretty much garbage. I did have one of this in the Lux Ray deck, because it uh, does reduce spread damage as well. So I was like, yeah, this, this has applications. Like, you end up only doing 50 with the King Drows it's basing. And yeah, I don't know, but... Yeah, this is the worst of the pop series sets. But this guy looks so cool. This artwork is nice. It's a I mean, reprint. The artwork's nice, but yeah, I know it's a reprint, so whatever. Um, yeah, no, there's not a lot in here. I think I did like keep in mind stuff like the heat trap. I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's but... worse than pop one, but <laughs> pop one is at least rare. Anyway, as far as the uh, as far as the video stuff goes, I think that's enough because we I don't think we're moving on that ban list at this point, right? Uh, yeah, I'm happy with that. As uh, stuff gets loaded up here, let's. Uh, yeah, I'll cut a bit. This of that. seems like an absolute small set. Let's see. 106. Okay, when hopefully stuff eventually loads up here, but uh, yeah, as I'll, far uh, as quickly, I'll quickly group the decks up. Nah, it's alright, it's just taken a bit to, to think it, it always does. Uh, yeah, okay, so as far as the as far as stuff goes here, like I said, I didn't really care. I wasn't trying to play something that was quote-unquote bad to not get anything bad, it was just, I was really looking and going, when you consider what the top two decks here were, this was one of the only things I could even see that might stand a chance against it. Uh, so... Uh, yeah, that was about it. And I did say I wanted to have a look at that Kyogre, and I did, and it was cool. So, you know, there is that. Anyway, yeah, that is going to do that, so thank you for watching. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it's been at least some of interest enough of it here. I think so, because the Gliscor loop that was really fun to see. And, uh... Yeah, we got this set coming up next. It's going to be neat. <laughs> yeah, Gigas Level X is pretty, uh, is actually a deck with one of the other ones. So, yeah, there's some cool stuff to see in here. So, uh, also, great ball returns. So, woo. Uh, yeah, that's going to be for next time.